All right, welcome back to another episode of Catch and Tie. The flower we're going to be tying today is a 20 incher stone fly pattern. The fish that we caught with it was a pretty decent rainbow trout. It was uh, part of the day uh, of fishing the other day that uh, caught 20 plus fish. Used several different flies, and I only caught the one fish with this fly before I changed it out. I enjoy trying to see how many different fish I can catch on different uh, fly patterns. So, what we're going to use to tie this fly is these uh, Saber size 14 hopper terrestrial hook, a uh, 3 30 second brass black nickel bead. Little lead wrap, a couple about five wraps of this uh, 015 lead. I have uh, some copper wire, just the uh, this is a uh, ultra wire, real thin. And the uh, thread is the 100 denier Royal Sissy, it's uh, brown. Dubbing is going to be my blend of wool, special little blender, don't need a lot of it. And we're going to finish it off with uh, some Solaris uh, UV. Wind casing is going to be some turkey. And the abdomen is going to be this peacock, which a couple strands left of it, but I got plenty more where this came from. Alright, stay tuned. We'll uh, see the catch of the fish. Just a short uh, little clip. Of the catch air wasn't very exciting, just uh, and then I'll show you how to tie a fly. All right, thanks for tuning in, and here we go. Easy release. All right, welcome back. Ready to uh, tie this fly here. Like I said in the uh, vise here, we got that uh, size 14 hopper terrestrial hook with the bead. We're gonna go ahead and start off with a couple wraps of uh, lead. Four or five, we'll do it. Here we go. Alright. Take your thread. Go ahead and start it on there. And when you're starting it on there, just push your thread up against your lead and it'll secure it up against that bead. You don't need to really seat the uh, bead like we did on the other videos. So there's really no super glue needed on this. Go ahead and continue to wrap back to about the top of the bend of the hook here. Give it a few wraps. I'm going to build up just a little bit of a ball here. What I failed to mention in the first part of the video, what I was telling you about what we're going to use, is that uh, we're going to use some goose biots for the tail. Okay, now you got a little bit of a thread built up there. You're going to take a couple snippets off of this goose biot. Basically what it is, a uh, goose pod is uh, just the stiff feathers on a goose wing. And this may take a couple seconds, but I like to take the two pieces of goose pie out for the tail. Now lay them in the palm of my hand. 
and I'll lay them on top of each other opposite. I've always found the best way to do that is to do it with a pair of tweezers. Alright. Got the uh, two pieces of buy together here. About even. Go ahead and lay them on top of the hook. Just about, uh, what's that, about a quarter inch or so beyond the end of the hook there. And I find a couple good loose wraps to start with before you pinch it down. Typically keeps it in place. How'd that turn out? Pretty good. One just a little bit higher than the other. That yeah, looks actually pretty good though. Alright, go ahead and trim off the excess here. And we're going to take a little piece of this copper wire. This is going to be the ribbing of the body. Go ahead and tie that in. And now we're going to take a couple pieces of the peacock curl. We're going to tie that in. Alright, now if you have a rotary vise, this is actually the easier way to do it. Take your uh, peacock curl. Go ahead and spin it on there. You don't necessarily want to go all the way up to the front of the fly there. And uh, trim it away. That little piece of hurl sticking out there or something sticking out. Okay, go ahead and take your uh, wire and wrap it the opposite direction. This will secure the uh, peacock curl. Go ahead and wrap it in. Oops, and uh, go ahead and helicopter it off. Alright. From here, you want to go ahead and take your piece of turkey feather. It's going to be the wing casing. And you got a good side and you got not so good of a side. So you want to take the good side and face it down. We're going to tie it in with the thin end, the very end of the feather. We'll use that end to tie it in with. Go ahead and lay it on top. Again, a couple of nice 
softer wraps make sure you get it adjusted because you want it right on top and go ahead and tie it in yeah so it'll look perfect right on top go ahead and cut the excess away Alright, now you want to take a piece of hen pheasant feather. I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier in the video either. But you're going to go ahead and take this hen pheasant. You're going to strip from the tip back and leave a little stem. Take all the fuzziness off the bottom, all that uh, marabou stuff. And lay the feather shiny side down right on top of the fly. And again, you're going to do a couple nice loose wraps. Wrap it back just a little bit. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and trim that off. And now we're going to take a little bit of my special wool blend dubby. Really, any any dubbing will do. Anything you like here, but I uh, I just take fisherman's wool that I get at. Uh, at the uh, craft store there for knitting sweaters. Cut it up, put it in a blender. Sometimes I'll put some uh, little uh, angelina fibers in it. This here I don't have that many angelina fibers in it. But you just want to take a little bit. Just a little bit. Go ahead and spin it on. You don't want a lot of dubbing either. Just enough to basically cover up your thread. too much. Correct that. Just a little bit. Yeah, it looks better, huh? Alright. Now you want to go ahead and pull your pheasant feather over. Sure, it's right on top. And go ahead and trim this excess away. Now you're going to pull your piece of turkey right over top. Pull it down a little tight. Tie it in, tie it in front, and go ahead and you can step that off, get a little cock out here on the camera. Go ahead and wrap it down a little bit, make sure it looks pretty. out of there. It was nice when having fine point scissors you can trim it up for the camera a little bit. Alright, what I like to do here is take a little of my UV finish now and just a little dab on top of the wing casing. Use a piece of that feather. Alright. Take your whip finish tool. Go 
couple whips. Cut it away. And let's see here, we got a couple threads hanging down there. And go ahead and zap it with your UV uh, light. Looks pretty good. If you want to, you could actually fan these out a little bit, make them more photogenic. But once it hits the water, you know what's going to happen to it. Ain't gonna look like this once a couple fish get into it. So there you go. You got the little 20 inch fly. Size 14, pretty small. But it's the fish, uh, it's the size the fish took. Pretty simple pattern to tie. Once you tie a couple of these, they come together pretty quick. You can tie a dozen rather rather quickly. And you can make the uh, the legs here maybe a little shorter, a little longer. I actually think I look, looks, looks really good like that, huh? Alright, hope you like it. If you uh, do like it, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment what you like about it. And if you don't like it, give me a comment what you don't like about it. Just uh, just fly time. You know, I'm not a, not a professional selling my flies or anything like that. But, you know, it's, it's fun to do. It's fun to show you how to do it. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. See ya.